Basically, that means you can do whatever the f you want. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jada, and I'm here to teach you how to break out of your comfort zone by becoming an adult figure skater. I don't know how many times I've seen people on the internet asking if they're too old to figure skate, and the answer is no, you are never too old to figure skate. Now, you might not ever get to the Olympics or Worlds or Nationals, but there are endless opportunities to skate in the adult figure skating world. In just a few short weeks, I'm going to be coming out with a new series about everything you need to know in order to become a figure skater, so make sure that you hit subscribe down below in order to get notified when I do that. Now, I'd argue being an adult is the best time to start the sport. You're not a kid anymore, which yeah, that means your body's less nimble, but also it means that you have full autonomy on what you want to do. Basically, that means you can do whatever the f you want. So without further ado, here are five reasons I have for why being an adult skater is the best time to do it. Number one, you can do it at your own pace. Sometimes when you're a kid and you join the sport, you might not actually have a whole lot of say in what you're doing, and for good reason, you're a kid, you don't know a whole lot. That means you might be learning things faster or slower than maybe you would otherwise want to just because you're a kid and you have less autonomy over your life in general. Skating as an adult puts you in the driver's seat for everything you're, that you're doing. You are paying your coach your own money, you are showing up to your coach or your class, so that means that you can do whatever you want and as long as you can articulate that what you want to do, coaches are more than happy to oblige because at the end of the day you're paying them and you know, you're, you're there to learn, you're not there to, to learn how to be some Olympic champion, so you can do whatever you want. You want new ideas? It's your money. You want to learn uh, only moves in the field? That's your prerogative. You want to learn how to do a flip jump? That is completely okay. Being an adult gives you the power to have influence on your skating and trajectory more than you would have as a kid. That's not to say that kids don't have some sort of say in what they do, but let's be serious. We've all been kids and we know how that can be. Basically what I'm saying is you're less likely to have a helicopter mom making sure that you're learning the things that she wants you to learn. Number two, it's a good way to exercise. Skating uses muscles that you really don't use in a whole lot of other areas of your life unless perhaps you're, you know, a gymnast. I think gymnasts use all the muscles, but if you're just someone who's a couch potato, chances are you're not using almost any of the muscles in figure skating. When we were in lockdown last year, I lost pounds of muscle mass within a few weeks. And so by the time I got back on the ice in July, so I was off the ice for four, mo for four months, uh, I had to not start completely over, but it was obvious that I lost a lot of skill. And even now, eight months being back on the ice, I still don't have everything. So it just goes to show you that skating uses a lot of different muscles that you never notice uh, that you use before. Just stroking around the rink engages your core, your quads, and your glutes, and a whole lot of other stabilizing muscles, and that is just the basics of skating. So once you start adding the turns and the spins and things, then you realize that, wow, there's a lot of muscle that's actually used in this, and if you've ever gone to like a public session and just skated around and then the next day you feel like you got hit by a truck, yeah, that's because you're using muscles that you don't normally use otherwise. Number three, it's endlessly scalable to your level. Skating is a low resistance sport when you need it to be. That means you can have a variety of physical ability and still have a good time. Learn to skate or basic skills classes give you the foundation for skating in a pretty much judgment free zone. There's no real test and honestly it's pretty lenient if you pass you know, from one learn to skate level to the next. Once you're finished with basic skills, you can join the standard track with the kids and you know the Olympians. You can do uh, adult level, so if you can do, if you're in the U.S., you can do 21 plus or 50 plus, uh, depending on your age and your comfort of uh, wanting to skate to that level. So those adult levels are a little bit lower standard than the standard track, but it still gives you the opportunity to you know show some progress. You don't have to jump or spin if you don't want to. You don't have to learn choctaws if you don't want to. Uh, if your hips don't work for spread eagles or Ina Bowers, that's all okay. You also don't have to test or compete. Now, if fun fact, you can actually compete at the basic skills level. There are basic skills level competitions. My rink hosts a few a year. And not a lot of people do them, but I think that's just because when you're taking basic skills, you're not really thinking about like competing, but you only need 
basic skills one to put together a program. Is it going to be, you know, a Michelle Kwan level? No, but if you're interested in competing and you wanna get a feel for it, you can do it very early on in your skating career. Honestly, no matter what skill level you are, there is home for you on the ice. Before we go on to the next reason, I wanted to briefly give a shout out to one of my favorite skating apparel brands that happens to be owned by a fellow adult skater. Adult Skate 2 has so many t-shirts and jackets to help you proudly proclaim your alliance to the cult of adult skating. They're pretty size inclusive and Erica is super sweet and accommodating to any of your particular sizing needs. If you use my code JADASKATES, you can save 10% off your purchase. Link in the description. Okay, on to the next one. Number four, it's a good coping strategy. Now, if you saw my video about my origin story into skating, you'll know that I actually got into skating because it was a really good release from being a college student in her junior year of university. It's really hard to think about all your life stress when you're concerned about falling on your face with you know really thin blades on very slippery ice not only that but exercising releases endorphins it gets your heart pumping it gets you sweating and those things are known to reduce stress and makes you just a happier person i know a lot of people in the adult skating world uh, lamented the fact that they couldn't skate during the early months of the panoramic because uh you know we we use skating as a coping mechanism and in such a stressful time it was very difficult for a lot of us to you know reason with the fact that we couldn't use our one coping skill uh in order to manage with the worldwide event so we kind of build a little bit of a cult following in figure skating but it's only because we love it so much and we don't like being stressed out adults so it really just works out for everybody and number five you can make a ton of new friends. Now, I didn't make a ton of friends in college, but I have met so many people in three years of skating. Instagram exposed me to a world of adult skating I didn't even know existed. And to this day, some of my closest friends I met through the app but you don't actually need to be on the internet in order to meet people. I've met tons of people just from going to r random rinks around the city. And even when I travel, I try to stop by a couple rinks to see people. So you can meet pretty much anyone because once you start skating, you have this common ground with anybody you come into contact with if you happen to be on the ice because you'll automatically have something to talk about. I've met people in group classes, I've met people while I was working as a skate guard, I've met people at competitions. So you don't have to be on the internet in order to, you know, build a community, but it's also really nice and you guys can follow me on Instagram where I have a crap ton of people who are really nice to me and I feel like sometimes I don't even deserve it, but you know what, you guys are great. Honestly, figure skating is so, so rewarding and you can take it anywhere you want as an adult. If you wanna be competitive, you can be competitive. If you just wanna be a rec skater, you can be a rec skater. There's no pressure as an adult skater or there shouldn't be. If you wanna see another video about how I started skating, you can click the top video and you can click the bottom video for a random video that YouTube wants you to see. Honestly, I don't even know what it is. Thanks for watching, keep skating, bye.